Welcome to another DIY home improvement video. So a while ago I started to paint the wall in the attic room and yeah we want to show you what it looks like because it's a lot different than expected so it's really strange. Now this was the sample pot and this is, well hang on, let me show you. This is the colour in the pot and it's a, yeah, help me out, it's called Intelligent Matte Emulsion. So you can use it for walls but also for like wooden surfaces and yes. stuff, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So there is a massive difference. I mean, I wouldn't mind just a slightly lighter shade, but this is, don't you think it's massive, Yag? Yeah, it is. So... Because this is green, and this is green yellow. Yeah, so we're not sure. Um, I don't know, maybe, Yag, do you think it will change with a second coat, just a little bit? It will be a little bit darker, but not uh, this kind of yellowish. And that's so weird because <laughs> this is the reason why we get why we get sample pots. So this is so so strange. Um, I don't know. So yeah, I've just got the sample pot, and they look the same. Yeah, they they really look the same. So how can that be? I'm trying something. So, now let's give it a try. <laughs> yes, but I remember when I, when I used the sample pot that it looked like this at the beginning and then somehow changed. It's maybe because of the paper? So could it be like the surface? Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. The look. Yeah. How weird is that? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just give it some time to dry and then we'll see if there's any difference. Yeah. Do you think it will look totally the same as our snug, which is at Obama? Pomona? No, it won't. Why no. don't you think so? Because Pomona is a darker green. This is green and you can see the yellow. Mm -hmm. But it's not as much as all as... As we have expected. Yeah. And while I'm painting the attic room, Yuck is looking after our hallway. So, what you just did, Yuck, you put masking tape everywhere. Yes. And now you're painting the walls. Yeah. Because it was impossible before, was it? No, uh, say the workers would have ruined everything. Yes, because the staircase, it is quite, it's a narrow space, so they would have ruined yeah. everything, so there was no other option. No, just uh, good now. And it's fine. Yeah. Right, I'm done for today. I did two coats, and Jörg is... I try to tidy up a little bit, and hang on, Jörg. Yeah, now you're in focus, and Jörg continues here. Yes, slow progress, but still, we both find it quite satisfying to make progress. Today, I'm applying the first coat of paint on our door here in the attic room. We'll see how that will look, because there is actually a lot of trauma here going on 
but um, you will find out why. So this is the before and I'm just starting here. It's very, very subtle and I think it needs at least two coats, maybe even three, so we'll see. So the door is freshly painted and it really needed it. Yeah. It looks very nice now. Yeah, the colour is nice. Very, very nice. Quite subtle, but a bit more creamy than it was before. So we really like that. But now more regarding this paint. Yeah. And now regarding the colour. Yeah. I feel as if we filmed a sketch. Yeah, at least we will look like fools when you when we tell you the story. Yeah, because because of my fault, we bought the wrong color. Yeah, I yeah. What what I think what actually happened is that I just mixed up the the sample pots. Yes, I mixed up. Yeah, so she ordered the wrong color, yes. and then we started painting. And we wondered, it's not the colour we, we bought, and why is the colour different to the one we wanted to have? Yeah. And then we looked and found out. Yeah, so... Yeah. And, um, and then even though we didn't end up like with the, with the right colour, we no. said we probably won't even like the right colour. Yeah. Because somehow it's a bit hard to explain. Yeah. Somehow we think it's just not our vibe. Yeah. And that sounds really like wasteful and it never it never happened before. No. Like we, we painted so many rooms. And, and usually we paint the colour we order and we And we like it. Yeah. We usually like it. And the only consolation is that just recently I saw someone on Instagram and she had the same thing like in the hallway yeah. and ended up like painting the hallway in a different color. Yeah, so these things happen. Yeah, so what we will do is we will sell the color. I mean, it's not, it's not ugly. This one is not, it's, it's not, nice, but it's it, not the one we wanted to it's have. It's just not what we want this room to be, yeah. like with the accessories and stuff like that. So we will start from scratch. And yeah. we chose a, another colour and we decided to show you the room once it's painted. Yeah, not now. Not now. And yeah, it's bad because we lost a week, but yeah. what can you do? Good morning. Good morning. We are doing something very exciting today. Throwing rubbish away. Yeah. We're driving to the recycle center, so very, very exciting, but uh, something really, really important at the same time because we need to get rid of stuff at the house. So it is Saturday morning, it's 9.30, and yeah, this will be the first time going there. It's in Tattenhall, Tattenhall and Cheshire, yeah. and we want to have a look. So that we can plan our next trip and then going home and um, continue painting and then we'll share some more. That was spectacular, wasn't it? No, that's good. At least now we know where the recycle centre yes. is. And what we can bring. Yeah, and what we can bring. And yeah. This is our Saturday, getting rid of waste and just the normal stuff. Yeah. And this is the weather. It's very dark and just, I don't know, it's dark and rainy and it's actually the best weather to get rid of waste and work at home. Nothing else you yeah. can do so we don't mind the current lockdown. No. Well, yeah, we made a bit of progress. Yeah. 
because you applied the, the first code here. Yeah, it looks that way. And it looks... It looks very really nice. Good. Really, I love the color. Hello, everyone. So, I thought, like when you and I film home updates, home content, that it would be great to gather stuff because we ordered a lot of fabric samples for the attic room, paint samples, and that it would be great to gather this and then share in between so that we can share brands that we discovered, websites that we discovered and that inspire us and share with you and just share everything in the description box so that you can have a look and maybe stumble upon brands that you haven't known before. But first of all, in, um, in the last video I said, and I totally forgot about that, so sorry, that I can't wait to dive into a book over the festive season. And I didn't say which book and I got some questions which I totally understand and I thought I have to share. So first of all I have to say like since working in social media I just don't find the time to read as much as I used to. I used to be such an avid reader and simply I don't know it's because Probably because I have to do, um, like, social media, YouTube is my job, so it takes takes up all of my time, basically. So starting in the morning, often I work until late at night, on weekends, which is fine, but it just leaves me not enough time to read a nice book, which is why I mostly read magazines in between because, yeah, it's just, you can just browse those magazines and it just doesn't take a lot of time. But what I always say is that I just love to switch off a little bit over the festive season and read a nice book. And last year, I, I actually got, some of you might remember when I mentioned Slightly Foxed, the small publishing house in London which is amazing. They have amazing books, they have a beautiful podcast, I will link it again for you. And they sent me, it was a gift and it was amazing because I didn't know whether I would like it. So they sent me a book by Roald Dahl and Roald Dahl is a, was a British novelist and they sent me his autobiography. So he wrote two autobiographies and they sent me the second one, which is called Going Solo. It's not very, it's not a big book, which is great because it doesn't take up a lot of time to read. And I loved it so, so much that I actually ordered the first part, which is called Boy. And, by the way, these two books make perfect Christmas presents as well. And, yeah, I'm going to read that over the festive, over the, over the holidays, basically. And I can't wait because I know I'm going to love it. And I said to Jörg, he has to read this because I know that he will absolutely adore this book. And, yes. So I thought I have to share this. And then I, like when I was on our cycle trainer, I often, I often would watch series, but I often watch YouTube videos as well. So I got a suggestion, a house tour, and it was a Georgie Coleridge Cole's house tour. She's the founder and editor of a website called Sherlock's, which I link for you as well. And Jörg and I got so many inspirations. 
we don't like everything, but I would say 80% of what she shares and what her house looks like is amazing. And yes, because of that, we stumbled upon New France and I thought I will share the house tour video here and you can have a look and it is amazing. I'm sure you will love that as well. So I was actually talking to her on Instagram messages about a certain paint from Ferro and Ball that we had, we ordered a sample pot, but um, for her attic room, <laughs> you know, we shared the dilemma and well, it didn't work. So we ordered another sample pot and fell in love with the color and we'll share that once the room is done but what i can share is we so we ordered a a very i would say a very simple desk from habitat which is a, a, a which is walnut so dark and we can assemble it here at home which is great because you know, you know the problem with the narrow staircase, so that's great. And then we were thinking about getting an antique chair and we had this Swedish house in Germany and always love the Gustavian style. So I searched the internet for a Gustavian chair, an antique chair, and didn't really find one. But then I stumbled upon no, not even stumbled. I've known this brand for so many years and now I have to show you. So it's this brand, Scumble Goosey, which is based in Gloucestershire in England. And I just, I browsed the website and looked for seating and actually found this gorgeous chair called Rosen Chair. Um, takes a while to open, which is classic Swedish design. And you can choose between several finishes, like unpainted, and they have French grey, old white, Gustavian grey. And we will have this chair made in probably in old white. And then what you can do is you can send your fabric and then they will upholster it for you and this is exactly what we're going to do because we think this will look very nice in the room in the attic room and will be a beautiful combination with their walnut desk and now let me show you what fabric we chose so we actually had a lot of fabric samples sent and just yesterday, we got samples from Lewis and Wood, a brand that we've known for so many years. We actually, we had our bathroom wallpaper in Germany from Lewis and Wood, and it's a beautiful brand. And this is what we're going for because we think this will look so beautiful with the Gustavians, with the Gustavian Swedish style. So this is what we will choose. This is another one which is a little bit too dark we find and we will go for this and we also got this fabric which is also beautiful but we think this one will look amazing as you can see like for curtains or for a headboard absolutely stunning and then I had a look what will go with this for a lampshade for the desk. And this, again, was something that we came across through Georgie Cole's Coloritz's website, or her house tour, to be more precise. And that's a brand called Munner & Kerr. So we had samples send for lampshades but we won't go for that but still they were so quick in sending those samples and they look like this but we're not going for the for those 
they also offer custom made lampshade so you can send over your fabric and have your lampshade made and then it will just it fits with everything else which is beautiful and yeah I thought I would share what lampshade or what fabric we will choose for that and I'm currently waiting for a response because I'm not entirely sure how much fabric we will need for the lampshade probably not very much but I just want to be on the safe side so we're going for the fabric Vineheart Sea Holly from Lewis and Wood and what they do is they make suggestions what goes with what and we thought we would choose Diamond Dot Sea Holly for a lampshade and can't wait because we think that will look so so nice together so at first we thought we would um, have the chair upholstered in a tartan fabric which we're not doing now but uh, we got some fabric samples that are still very very beautiful called it's uh, from the mill shop online and these fabric samples are still absolutely stunning and amazing quality to be honest that would be beautiful for for a sofa or an armchair we think that one is very nice as well even this one is stunning and we also discovered another British interior designer company called Veer Granny and well we heard of it before but um, we basically became more familiar with it now that we watched Georgie's house tour on YouTube and we had we have these fabric samples that are beautiful as well and would look very nice with the Gustavian chair so that's lovely too but um, we will still go for for this one because we just we really fell in love with it and yeah that's what we're going to do and finally our hallway is painted so that's done as well which is lovely and tonight Jörg and I want to fit the door of the attic room and see what it will look like with the doorknob and share that with you. It will be dark of course but we thought it would be nice to get the first look together so quite excited for that so we'll be back again tonight. So hallway is done Jörg painted the second coat over the weekend but we have such a dark and rainy day today so you probably can't really see the colour. It is very very hard but um, when I switch off the light no you can't see anything which is just proof that this colour is the best decision ever because even when it's very dark it's not really dark in here. So this is a it's an Edward Bulmer paint called Pink Lilac and we absolutely love it. It's in all of our hallway and looks very very beautiful but not as beautiful on screen as it does and in reality to be honest but it is absolutely stunning and it was the best decision to go for that color well here you can tell a bit of a difference between white and the pink lilac and um, we showed it in other videos where we where you might get a better idea maybe but um, it looks so so nice in the flesh that's our cupboard, then staircase, our new carpet, new walls, and that's quite the transformation. Good evening, my darling.
Do you think it will work? Yes, it will. Fingers crossed. It's finished. Yeah. It looks lovely. Good. So Yerk had to shorten two of the screws for the one side, but you don't think you have to do that here? No. That's good. Thank you. I'm... It's a pleasure to be your assistant. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. Good. Well. At least that looks nice. And everything else in here is a tip. I actually painted this wall white again so that we can start from scratch maybe next week. So one thing done and that's the door and we of course will change this knob as well but that, that looks very nice. Well done, Jörg. Love it. Also love the colour. So, Jörg already went down because he's so hungry. We haven't had dinner yet. And fitting the door was the first thing we did to together just once he came home. And yeah, we have something exciting as well for next week. So stay tuned for that. We hope you like the home updates and we can't wait to start painting this room now. And as always, please do take care and we'll see you very soon and until next time. Bye bye.